there has been a comprehensive failure on the part of state governments to develop their own gas resources. We encourage the New South Wales government to approve the development of the Narrabri gas project. The sooner that is brought online, the better. That is critical to the energy security of Australia, the energy security of this state, New South Wales. I find it, I don't sleep at night. I wake up panicking. The terrifying thing is, don't they care? Don't they have families and children and grandchildren themselves? The government is trying to make it fall into the dialogue of being, oh, it's good for jobs, it's good for the economy, it's good for the local economy. That's where they want the discussion. And unfortunately, in this case, that isn't even a particularly good reason, because there's only going to be a few hundred jobs involved. We should be supporting a ban, like in Victoria. As a consultant, I'd spent most of my time working for developers, um, big companies, mining companies. And after years of doing this, I just couldn't bring myself to be in that situation anymore where information was being suppressed. And there's very little recourse for the public to know when these mistakes are being made, essentially. Um, and so I couldn't, out of principle, continue to work for um, that sector anymore. supported the country party and the national party all my life. I've voted for the uh, country party and the national party for 57 years and supported them as best I could and we thought they were our salvation. They're not. They betrayed us and uh, until we can get independence, uh, politicians and people to come out and genuinely support us in the bush, we haven't got a great future. We're all doomed really in the bush. Things aren't too good out here. It's getting tougher and tougher for farmers and it's getting tougher and tougher for country towns. And off-farm income is not easy to find in rural Australia. So the opportunity to reinvest into your farm with the income derived from natural gas is seen as a real positive by our landholders. I find it quite terrifying that the people in charge of this decision making can be so careless of the future of Australians. The economy, the lifestyle. If you want to drink clean water and eat clean food, then this is your problem. This is like an oasis. It's got um, freshwater mussels, freshwater sponges, a high diversity of invertebrates, probably fish. These little things are like refuge areas when the streams aren't running here, which is most of the time, these keep the aquatic life of the system going. It's also important for terrestrial life, providing water for birds and wallabies, also koala. So this is in the, the gas field area, right through the middle of where the proposed gas field is going to go.
We shall not give up the fight we have only started. We have only started. We have only started. We shall not give up. We don't feel it's appropriate. We're not running out of gas. We feel it is going to put New South Wales agricultural areas at risk. I have had over 40 years experience in agriculture. I know uh, the, those Queensland areas. I've visited them, especially the Sandals Fairview gas fields. There is no way agriculture and this industry can coexist. It's a nonsense. To me, it's all about the water. If they destroy our Great Artesian Basin and our groundwater, there's no going back. So I'm going to be writing again and speaking again to the Chief Ministers and to the Premiers to urge them to do as they have been urged by the industry, by Australians in every line of work, to get on with the development of these gas resources.